let's refine our model further. Let's start with this portion. I'm going to go back to box mode and double click this edge. So a quick tip, make it habit to rotate to check if all of your desired entities are fully selected. So right click, insert edge. I'm going to grab our slider. I'm going to I'm going to type in 0 0.5 hitting enter. So let's add the remaining point here. I'm going to go to insert point, selecting this point and when it turned into red, it is the midpoint. So left click, hitting okay, going back to right view. I'm going to go to edit form and grab our vertex filter selection. I'm going to move this vertex up. So in addition, make sure that under select, selection filters and select through is activated. Hitting OK and going back to smooth mode. So let's add another resolution here. Double click this edge. Right click and insert edge. I'm going to move this one here, hitting OK, going back to smooth mode, going back to box mode, I'm going to create a window selection, right click edit form, and change my selection filter to all, once more, window selection and grab this one, I'm going to hit Alt 2, to check, right click edit form and move this one, hitting OK, so in addition, I'm going to double click again once more this edge, go to right view and slide edge. Grabbing our slider, moving this one up to here, around 0.245, hitting OK. Next, right click edit form once more and going to vertex mode. Selecting those vertices, going to box and moving this one. Another window selection, moving this one, going back to filter selection all, hitting OK, inspecting. Now going back to box mode, let's refine our edge, going to edit form and going to vertex mode. Moving this vertices, this one, this one, this one, moving this one, moving this one, okay, hitting okay. Inspecting, going back to box mode, selecting these faces, going to bottom view, right click, select edit form, and going back to selection filter all, alt F, left click this one and control left click this one. I'm going to hit alt while dragging this corner. Gonna go around 0.818, hitting OK, going back to smooth mode, inspecting our model. Model now is looking good. We can now move our model to the center. I'm gonna hit M for move and select our T spline body. I'm gonna grab this arrow. 
So this won't change. So if you remember, our width is 33. Now I can show you that once more by going to box mode, selecting inspect and selecting this point and this point. So confirmed, 33. I'm going to click copy to clipboard. Hitting close and hitting M once more. Going to front view and selecting our T-spline body. So the distance, I'm going to paste it here. I'm going to type in negative 33 divided by 2. So now it's perfectly at the middle. Hitting OK. Going back to smooth mode. 